This morning, several states have yet to be called in the race for the White House. They are Pennsylvania, Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina, and Alaska. Arizona still, uh, it's been called blue, but they're uh, counting votes. There are a lot of votes that still need to be counted in Arizona. Many of the remaining votes are mail-in ballots. The president holds slim leads in both Pennsylvania and Georgia, but the remaining ballots, all cast on or before Election Day, come from Democratic-leaning areas. Now, the Trump campaign is challenging results in key battleground states. And News 8's Chris Groh joining us live with that part of the story here. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning. Uh, the key phrase here to remember is expect the lawsuits because that is likely what we are going to see. We've heard President Trump pretty much signaling this for quite some time. In fact, think of it as a hornet's nest. It's been kicked, and those lawsuits are going to start flying around now, and including uh, what we're seeing happen in Arizona. While no lawsuits have been filed, I want you guys to take a look at this. This was a uh, video and the scene in front of the Maricopa County uh, Election Center there in Arizona. And the reason why we're showing you this is because this was all started with a conspiracy theory on social media known as Sharpie Gate. Essentially, more than 200 people outside there protesting because they believe uh, that the, their votes were invalidated because they used Sharpies. And so uh, this has been a conspiracy theory that has uh, really spread like wildfire on social media. There's really no proof of it happening. In fact, Maricopa County and their election officials there have been telling voters for pretty much like weeks now that you can use Sharpies to mark your ballots. Uh, but you could see there that group trying to get into that election center, um, but <clears throat> sort of follows that same uh, kind of thread here of uh, fraud being alleged when we have seen in multiple instances that uh, there hasn't been much evidence given of fraud. Either way, uh, we have the attorney general in that state looking into it. And as far as other states, we are seeing uh, where the vote count is pretty close. The president's legal team is looking uh, to sue. And we know that so far lawsuits have been filed in Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Michigan. And those filings specifically are looking for Trump team members to be able to get in. They're saying that their Trump team members have not been able to get in and observe vote counts. However, the Associated Press is reporting that they witnessed in Michigan at one of the very key voting sites that they saw from both the Biden team and the Trump team observers, which is very normal on election day to see, especially from uh, during a presidential year, to see team members from both sides look and observe to make sure that the voting is going on. Now, we're also hearing that President Trump's legal team is going to be asking for a recount of Wisconsin. We spoke with a political science professor about the possibility of that and if it would help. Counts are generally accurate. They've shown in the past that recounts rarely change things as much as these large margins that, that, that so far Joe Biden has won by. And look, we also know that President Trump has asked the Supreme Court to start getting involved, to stop the vote count. Uh, we've heard from legal experts and election officials as well that it's really way too early uh, to start involving uh, the Supreme Court. But uh, it does appear now uh, that this will continue this battle here uh, for the presidency, but now maybe shifting towards the courtroom.